All right, guys, I'm gonna show you here how to tie the loop knot. Now, if I'm not tying the improved clinch knot, oftentimes I'm tying the loop knot to my lure and my hook to give it a little more free swimming or swinging action underneath the water. So first you start by actually making a loop in your line, small little loop. And what you're gonna wanna do is run this loop down a little bit. Give yourself some leader, uh, say about 12 to 14 inches to work with, um, depending on your needs of the size of the loop and the length of the leader you're looking to use. So then, after you have your small loop, you thread, you thread the eye of your hook, your lure, you take that tag end back around, and you're gonna thread it through the loop here. So, take this tag end, and thread it back through the loop. So now, once you run that tag end back through the small little loop, it's essential in figuring out how long or how wide you want this loop to be, because this will be the dictation of how big this loop truly is depending on how much leader you want to give it. So we're going to give it here about two inches, a nice little bubble there, um, as you can see there on my thumb. And what I'll do is I'll pinch it and I'll wrap this tag end around the main line. Um, usually you do it about five to six times. I'm going to do it three times here because I'm using 50 pound leader. So once I wrap it around the main line three times, I bring that tag end back down through that same loop on the bottom side, just like that. And now once I bring it through, it's a matter of cinching the line. And you're gonna wanna hold this tight. And when you cinch it down, like I said, that loop will be the dictation of how long and how much length you'll have between your knot and your actual lure and fly, how big that loop will be. So once I cinch it down there, get a nice little loop knot about an inch, inch and a quarter in length, big enough to give this fly more than enough action under the water. And you cinch it down just like that. Now once, once it's cinched, you're gonna wanna take your pliers, trim that tag end, and you'll have a nice little loop knot and lure to go with it. So, hope this tip helped. Thanks for tuning in.